Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be installing the Ring Spotlight Cam. And so this one is designed to replace an existing floodlight, and that's important because floodlights uh, will have a base or a junction box already that this bolts up to. Uh, however, I'm going to be connecting it a different way to just an outlet that I had installed on my home. Uh, as I was having my home built, I just put outlets on the eaves. Um, so uh, you'll see kind of both ways I can explain a little bit of both. But uh, anyway, this is what it looks like in the box. And we'll go ahead and unpackage it and show you what's inside. So this isn't the most exciting part, so I just sped it up a little bit. But inside you have the camera itself. And it's attached already to the uh, floodlights. And as you can see, they swivel down and then they can lock into place. You have all the wiring in the back, which is very simple. And then the mounting bracket itself. Uh, so they give you some instructions and a hardware installation kit as well. Okay, so this is the camera itself. And as you can see, it can pivot in uh, different directions. And it's designed to be mounted to the wall flat. I'm actually going to hang it from the ceiling. So these will be kind of swiveled and... Uh, in reverse, but it will still work. So I'm, I'm glad it still swivels enough. The installation kit that they give you is just a package of screws. And so most of these screws are designed to be bolting the uh, new bracket they give you to the existing junction box. Um, some of them I won't be using. They give you the wing nuts for tying off the wires and a little S hook here that helps you hang it momentarily while you're working on it. And I did find that actually very handy. Uh, this is what the bracket looks like. And then, so you can see at the bottom, they have a place for it to drain out, assuming you're mounting it flat to the wall and uh, it's insulated, which is really nice. Please keep in mind there is the risk of electrical shock. It's up to you to read the installation manual. Don't follow this video exclusively, um, but this video is just showing how I would do it, but I don't take any liability for anything that could go wrong. And these are the tools that I used. So again, refer to their installation instructions. And as you'll see in here, they expect that it's gonna go into a junction box that's already existing. So I'll show you what I did. So of course I wanted to do it uh, on one of these floodlights, but the only problem is floodlights are only on when the power is on. So I would have to have the power on for the other floodlights because they're on the same circuit. So we're going to want to turn the power off where we're working. And in this case, it was the dining room that controlled the floodlights. So you always want to make sure and don't just assume that you got it uh, taken off. In my case, I'm turning off our EVE outlets. And I'm also plugging in my phone charger and plugging it into my phone just to make sure that I still don't have any power to it. There's other ways and better ways to test, but just make sure that there is no power. Next, I removed the actual uh, housing here for my outlet and removed its insulation. Took out the two screws that are holding this one in. And then just pulled down the outlet. And it's very simple on this. We're just gonna disconnect our white, our ground, and the black, and uh, just be using these wires. Next, I brought in the bracket. And so, of course, we wanna feed the wires through this. And you notice that there's studs on here. Um, so what we want to do is kind of feed the wires through and then we want to twist this in different directions and note how the studs are pointing down and how that's going to affect where the camera's pointed. Now I just used the screws that came out of the outlet because they're the perfect size for the junction box itself. I had to take some pliers to remove the little um, stopper here on the back side of it, but we're taking these screws out. And so then I reused those screws to mount the bracket to the existing junction box. Now for extra strength, I will add other screws drilling uh, the bracket to the house more, but this is just temporary. And notice how I can still move uh, and swivel this. Next, I brought in the little S hook that they gave you and it does come in handy here. I just hung it through one of the holes here and now I'm suspending the actual floodlight from it. And it makes it real easy so that you can use both hands to tie up all the wiring. The wiring is very simple. We're just taking the white area where it gives us this little section that's been pre-cut and we're gonna add it to our white wire that's coming from the home. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and twist those together and then bring in their supplied uh, wing nut that they give us. And we're gonna go ahead and just uh, screw that one on. Next, we're gonna do the same thing with our black wire. So just twisting it together and putting the wire nut on it and it just screws on until it's tight. 
Okay, I had some bare wire exposed from the house side of it, so I had some electrical tape, so I wrapped that up, and I had some white and black tape, so that came out really nice. And next, we're putting these wires up into the junction box. That's where they belong. And now we're going to move on to our grounds. And so there's a ground that's coming from the actual uh, unit itself, and then one from the home. So I went ahead and wrapped it around uh, the screw that we're going to be tightening up, and I uh, even took a pair of pliers to kind of pinch it so it's good and snug and tighten that wire down. Okay, so just make sure that both of these grounds are together and uh, nice and snug. At this point, it's a good idea to restore the power just to make sure everything is wired up properly and you don't have any problems. So we'll turn the power back off in a second, but we just went out and sure enough, the lights were on and it was looking good. It started talking to me. So we went ahead and uh, turned the power back off after checking that everything inside was uh, how it should be and uh, safe. So we went ahead back inside, turned the power back off to keep working on it. Now, the little screwdriver that they give you, you can remove this part here, and it has a, a little area to tighten down our little white nuts that are gonna be uh, on the actual camera. So as you lift this up, you'll see the studs protruding, and it helps to push up on this, as you can see. As you push up on the base of it, it squishes that insulation just a little bit, and then you can get these on and tighten them down. So uh, they tighten down just fine. Now we can bring our spotlights up and lock them into place. And again, this is backwards, the way that this is all mounted, just because I'm uh, mounting it like this you know, flat against the roof of the house instead of the side wall of the house. So we put those in place and we turned the power back on and uh, went back out. To ring. Follow the instructions in the ring app to continue. So next you'll download the Ring app, which I already had, and it was really nice since I already had other cameras on my system. It was as simple as adding this new device. It already recognized the passwords and everything. So I went to devices, I went to add a device, clicked on security camera, and um, it was very simple. Everything popped up and just asked me to if it was okay to join the network and all those kind of things. But uh, very simple to install. And uh, it's a little more involved. Uh, I'll put the installation for my doorbell video in the description as well if you want to see that. It had some more information on it. But really nice. Uh, you just scan the box and it comes up and all the information self uh, populates. Uh, so just work your way through the app and it will walk you through everything. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. I've had my ring doorbells for quite a while now and I really enjoyed them. This camera is just as nice. I really like the view and the crystal clear quality. So anyway, uh, check the video description for more videos and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks guys.